All right. Hey, it is season four, everybody. Four. Oh, yeah. Season four. Season four. Four. It's an R at the end. Season four of Thriving Thursday. <laughs> my name is Stephen Hayes. This is my wife. Lauren. And we are S and L. And you're watching Thriving, Thriving Thursday. Thursday. And the reason why I say that is because when I get to the phase of burnout, and I've, I've done mm. that several times, especially in my career in the army, yeah. that, that those that that um, not healthy. those that that do good work. Um, this is not bragging, but those that do good work tend to get the most work. Uh, and so I had a lot you put know, on my plate. If they see I, you're I didn't responsible have, in doing it. They give you more because they're like, this yeah. guy's not doing it, but we know Hayes will do it. Yeah, right? he'll get it done. Um, and and <laughs> Which, so yeah, I, I wound up taking on a lot of different. I was putting. I was wearing a lot of different hats, taking on a lot of different roles that weren't specific to my job. Um, yeah. And. I was having a hard time with my boundary, having a healthy boundary at the same time, saying no, um, because not everything that uh, was being put on my plate was illegal, unethical, or immoral. It was just m a lot more work than I had time for in a day. And so yeah. um, I found myself being stretched really thin and I had to um, finally uh, finally realize that I had been missing the warning signs that my boundaries being violated yeah. and I finally started speaking up to my supervisor and letting them know hey uh, I'm not able to get this done and this done and then kind of like Lauren said earlier I had to finally tell them look okay if you want me to pick up the mail do this you know go run this errand go to this get this vehicle you know um, uh, PM, uh, PCMS. PCMS when I had to do the basically the, the quality check on the vehicle to make sure that it's, it's properly serviced and I had to you know I had to do all this stuff and he wanted it done before the end of the day and I'm looking at it like it's three o'clock you like, just told me at three o'clock yeah he just told me <laughs> three o'clock and you got like a laundry list of stuff that I have to do before the end of the day I'm like this this is not physically possible to get done even if I stay all night Facility, like yeah. all the places that I need to go to to get this stuff done are going to be closed in the yeah. next hour hour and a half so you know it's not physically possible what for would me you to like do me everything. to do today so it's like hey we got to prioritize I can do you know I can try and get this this and uh, these two things done because they're close by before they close the other things I'm are gonna have to wait till tomorrow like I can only get so much done I'm only, yeah. you know I'm only human um, and so it's, it's recognizing again, I had a, you know, it took me a minute taking on all these roles before I caught that that's what was happening. But when I realized it, then I had to go back and enforce yeah. that boundary again and say, Hey, look, I'm not able, I'm physically not able to complete all these things. Yeah. I was just, what I was thinking about it, about emotional boundaries, I was thinking about, um, I think this, this is probably the, the hardest boundary for me. Um, just like, because your friends are just maybe not even your friends, just people you know. Um, like I want good for people. So sometimes it'd be, it'd be really easy to take on, take on the world's problems. And then, you know, there's no bo emotional boundary there. Like, um, or like working with people like in a counseling field, like they go through some hard stuff. And if you don't put up an emotional boundary of trying to save the world in a night or something, it can, it just really can be draining and just, you know, it's can be depressing. It can be, you know, too much because you're one person. How can you solve 30 people, 30 people if you have, you know, friends and then you have the people that you're seeing at work, how can you solve everyone's problem in a day? You just can't, it's just not possible. And then also just in some relationships, it's harder than others to have boundaries. Like sometimes when it comes to like family, that's, you know, a hard one. Yeah. Um, and then like in um, counseling though, there's this, there's, they talk about um, not being enmeshed and having um, enmeshed is like, you don't have a boundary. And so it's like, kind of like, you don't know where one person starts and stops. You're just like, so like, you're super anxious. The chance is right to me like all the time. And I feel like if you feel like you're so depressed, it makes me feel so depressed. It's like there's no disconnect. Like you could feel empathy for someone, but you don't also have to just take on 
what they're feeling and that's hard to do you have to like you know put up that boundary like i'm not going to take that on you know i will be there for them but i'm not going to i'm not going to take it on myself yeah i, I can be there for you but mm -hmm. i'm not i can't also go into a depressive state because then i can't help you or take on everything that you know is stressing you out to stress me out like it's just not good but it's you know that's hard it's i think it's also hard as you go through life boundaries kind of can change and shift right because when you think about it when you're when you're younger um there might be less boundaries with your kids because you are doing a lot for them they're not um self they're not um i don't know the word self-efficient is that the right word they can't do things for themselves so yeah. but as they get older self-sufficient self as they get older um you know you are giving them more responsibilities and kind of loosening the grip a bit. Yeah. And um, so the boundaries are changing and, you know, like... I mean, one, so the of, the, one of the not as serious boundaries is um, we've loosened up a little bit and now, like, the older boys can make their own breakfast in the morning. They get up earlier than us yeah. anyway. And so now they can, they if they're hungry, they can go downstairs. They can make themselves, yeah. like, a bowl of cereal. And sometimes that... So. I felt like that boundary is because I didn't want to clean up a mess. But, you know... <laughs> It's okay. They can clean it up or it's not that big of a deal, but it'd be like, there's going to be a mess everywhere. Because, you know, but kids only learn by doing anyway. So yeah. there's going to be some messes. And, and kind it was of, a process too. Yeah. We taught them how to pour the cereal and the milk and how much to put in yeah. there so you don't overfold the bowl and well, stuff like still, that. But there's still, there's still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, but but I'm mean, saying it was like, it was a, uh, for the people out there, it was progression also. It wasn't just a, Okay, one day, all right, kids, go make your own breakfast. It was like we showed them what we yeah. were doing. Then we had them do it while we monitored them. Yeah. And then we watched them do it on their own. So I would say, hey, go ahead. You can make yeah. a bowl of cereal. I'm just going to stand here and watch and see how, you know, let you, let, you can ask me if you need help. So it was progressive. It was we did it. They watched us. They did it. We watched them. Yeah. Gave instruction. And then now they can do it on their own. I was just thinking. In fact, thinking, they pour it for their little brother and yeah. sister, too. So that's even better. That's really great that they do that. Yeah. I was just thinking about how you know we were talking about just boundaries as in like parents and maybe like controls but also it's really good for our for us to allow our kids to have boundaries even with um us like yeah. some, like for instance um all of my sons at one time but you know my one one of our sons he you have to ask him to hug him it's too much you know he doesn't really love it unless it's on his terms i mean he might want to wrestle but he doesn't really like hugs and I was trying to respect his boundaries because I'm setting the precedence the example that like if you tell someone no and you have a right to tell someone no, it's your body, they yeah. should respect that. And Absolutely. so me and Steven have been really intentional about that. Like even to the point of like, um, you know, if some mom might think this is silly, but if someone is, you know, tickling our kid and they say, stop, no, like I'm like, no, you got to stop when they say that. Yeah. And I tell my kids, like, if you're saying stop, they're not going to continue because, you know, I yeah. want them to know, like, if someone is touching you and it's uncomfortable or you don't want them to touch you, that's, you know, even just for a hug. I don't make our kids hug people. Yeah. Too, we don't make them hug or kiss anybody. We might say, hey, why don't you give them a hug? And they're like, no, I don't want to. Oh, okay. Well, hey, they just want to give you a hug. <laughs> I mean, everybody else is going to say, oh, you don't want to? Okay. No, they, think, they don't want to. I think, you know maybe in older generations they would have just been like hug your, hug your aunt yeah. or something hug aunt betty but, i don't know her betty aunt betty know. smell funny <laughs> i don't even think it's, it's just like letting them know it's okay like there's um you know that, that kind of boundary yeah. so i think that's good for them to know and then um it'll help them to set that with you know other adults kids you know that kind Absolutely. of thing and, and, um, and like what you're saying, to reinforce what you're saying about, you know, when someone's doing something and they say, no, you know, even with each other, they're yeah. playing and they're tickling each other. And, and one of them yeah. says, stop, you know, we're we're stepping in to help reinforce that boundary. No, no, please stop. They said stop. That means you stop. Oh, well, I was just playing. Yeah, it's OK that you're playing. But as yeah. soon as the person says stop, that's when you stop. That's the we're letting them know that is a boundary and that's how you, and that's yeah. how you enforce it. And that's they how you said teach stop, respect. You stop respect for other just other people's yeah. you know people's um other value people i don't know just you know respect of other people um and i think that you know it's i feel like it's very important of course i feel like it's parents job but um for other people to reinforce that too is, is good like you know teachers or people that are be around but yeah. um because you have you know people today that 
touching women or doing whatever, you know, and there's no, there's no like boundary, personal space boundary and they think it's okay or, you know, um, and sometimes it doesn't even have to, like I said, it doesn't have to be physical or stuff like that. I think I have set boundaries before with people, like you said about joking or yeah. not usually, it's not usually a joke. Well, it could be a joke if I think some, they're saying something maybe like racist. I'm like, or no, sexist. that's not okay. Oh, yes. And I'm like, no, that's not okay. And, you know, it, it, it could be person to person, but I'm, you know, I just think if you're funny, you can find other ways to be funny, yeah. you know? And it's just um, setting a boundary for people when they, you know, keep on overstepping that. And I think there's a way to, do, like you, like how you, in the beginning you were saying about being respectful, there's a way to, I think there's a way that it could be, better received but at the end of the day sometimes it might take you being really firm or assertive or even to a point of being like i said no yeah. <laughs> like you know and that's just what it is and it's okay um to keep yourself safe and so with that i would take it to the ultimate you know hey draw the line okay you have crossed this boundary i've given you warnings you know you, you violated the warnings you're still cro you're, you're still violating my boundaries um, like I said, you know, in the earlier case, we talked about, you know, you yeah. you, re you rec record it and report it. Record. It's one of the things that I said, <laughs> um, especially when it's something like physical or sexual harassment, something like that, you're going to record it and report it. But then if it's not something that severe, um, and I, I say severe, but if it's, if it's not something in that it, that's illegal, something like that, because, you know, sexual yeah. harassment, sexual assault, those things are illegal as well, immoral. They're unethical. So it falls under all three of those terms. Yeah. So if it's one of those kinds of things um, and, and you've you've given the warnings, you're, you're recording and reporting it. Now, at some point, we have to go beyond reporting. We need to make sure that we get, you know, the, the police involved. We need to get um, security involved, you know, whoever, it, whatever authoritative figure that you have in, in that space. If it's a personal relationship, um, hey, you might need to sever that relationship. Can I just say something? I don't even think they need to. If it's that severe, I don't even think you. It's not your job to warn someone when somebody uh, crosses a boundary that is that severe. I don't think it's. I don't think it's on you to warn them. If you want to, just give them that. That's what that I was going chance, for. That's yeah, fine. That's but there's nothing for. wrong with just being like, nope, not doing this. Yeah, you don't. You're that's right. Fine. You do. It's, it's and again, <laughs> knowing yourself. That's yeah. where we start off. Clearly understanding what your boundaries are and why. Yeah. That's the reason why I said that. But you're, you're right. You don't have to give them mm -hmm. any kind of warning. Nope. Um, my example was in a relationship where you're trying to save the relationship. You think the, yeah. the relationship is worth saving. If it's a family member, which is really difficult to sever that kind of relationship because they're family. Um, if it's a one of the close friends, like I said, I have a few quality friends. Mm -hmm. If it's one of my quality friends, you know, I have to think about whether or not the issue that I'm having is worth um, is worth the friendship. And so th at that point, that's when you have to go back yeah. and reinforce so, that boundary. Hey, look, th we talked about this. I told you I didn't like this. Excuse me, I didn't like when you treated me this way or I didn't like when you talked to me this way. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I didn't want you to do this. Whatever it was, you know, it's up to you whether or not yeah. you want to address it. Like I said, the kind of person I am, I'm going to address it with yeah, them I've never and been then <laughs> see what their reaction is. If they react in a way like they don't seem like they care, now, maybe at first they didn't yeah. realize they crossed a boundary um, if it's something yeah. new, but if they seem like they don't care, it's like, okay, well, if you don't seem to care enough to um, respect me, and that's how I probably would put it rather than saying my boundaries, I'd probably just say, <laughs> if you don't care enough to respect yeah. me, then I don't know how much time we're really going to be able to spend together because I'm not going to be around somebody that's not going to be respecting me. Yeah. I think I always had a difficult time with um, saying that or like if someone had uh, made light of it, like, so usually what I wind up doing is just distancing myself, which I used to think that was kind of bad, but I don't think, I don't, I mean, it was what I needed to do to have that your way of handling it. So, I mean, I think it really depends on you and whether or not, like if something has, you know, um, really crossed the boundary, if you, like you said, if you think it's worth um, saving or maybe just, maybe it's just not the right time or you can just distance yourself for your own um, kind of good and maybe um, you might be able to repair it later or not I don't know but at least then it's just you know um, you don't have to keep putting yourself in that situation to keep on being um, you know hurt by someone who doesn't care and might be like bulldozing or whatever so um, 
or gaslighting you. That's another thing. Do you know I don't know what that is. Oh. Gaslighting you? Gaslight that sounds like a race car term. You won't go? You won't go? <laughs> <laughs> it's a psychology term. Gaslighting. Go ahead. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper reel. So basically gaslighting on. is when like someone tries to make it seem like you are the problem and they kind of like try to flip it on you. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, so it's like. So it's not like gassing you up. Yeah, it kind of it. It's so gaslighting is kind of like stuff. switching. So say, um, I don't like. I don't know. I think that you are doing something mean, and you're like, you know, you're just crazy. You're just too sensitive. You're just too sensitive. I didn't do anything wrong, and like you make it more about them. It's like you have all these problems. I don't have problems. But it's Got like it. you do like so. If someone's doing that, too, it's just not. Sometimes it's just not worth it. They might be kind of like narcissistic and not be able to you know work on it if someone's able if someone wants to work on it yeah. then that's yeah. fine but and that's why i say you got to gauge whether or not there you have to gauge whether or not the relationship is worth it yeah if you're if like i said one of those relationships that's really difficult is when it's family and that's where you're someone you. that you've been friends with a long time so yeah you have you have a really close relationship yeah. like a significant other um, spouse or family like those are really difficult relationships to to have to try and sever because it's uh, it's unsafe but you know if uh, if uh, a spouse is being physically abused by the other spouse any kind of abuse really th there yeah. needs to be something there and i'm not just saying oh you just got to go do divorce i'm not i'm not jumping straight to conclusions i don't know your relationship i'm just saying that you need to protect yourself you need to be safe and so there's there's reason why we have laws and regulations um, yeah. about abuse um, there's reasons why we have uh, um, counselors to talk to people that are, that are abusers and those that have been victims of abuse. Yeah. And, and so it's everyone to help has their them. own boundaries, though. Like yeah. I would say, like, no, we ain't doing that. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I'm, going I'm, there. yeah, I'm not down for that either. Like, <laughs> nope. But that's yeah. you see, that's us knowing our boundaries too. Yeah. That's a non-negotiable for us. Like, yeah. hey, look, if, if you're gonna physically harm me. Um, because you're you're going through whatever, then yeah, that that's oh, yeah. a no go. So again, it's knowing. Good. That's why I said that one was such a good one because it was yeah. to clearly know what your boundaries are and why you have them. So uh, if you know that you know it's to protect myself and keep me safe, or in a, you know in the case of our families, protect you know us and our children and keep us safe. Then when someone goes to yeah. violate one of those boundaries, no, my son says stop. So yeah. you're going to stop, or you're going to have to deal with daddy. Yeah. I don't care if you're five or fifty. <laughs> you don't stop. You're gonna have to deal with his dad. Yeah. Now my my reaction to a five year old might be go get their parent, <laughs> or if it's a physical situation, I can break it up yeah. and go get their parent. Something like that. I'm not saying I'm gonna beat up a five year old, um, <laughs> but I'll beat up a fifty year old. Don't try I'm me. <laughs> I will beat up a fifty year old, and oh I don't even feel bad about it. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I am bragging. I'm not bragging about beating up a fifty year old. I'm uh, saying you don't want to mess with Daddy Bear. That's what I'm saying. Papa Bear. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this threw me off. Of, I didn't know what I was going to say. <laughs> going to be beating up everyone. No, go get your mother. Everybody. Go get your father. We'll deal. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not going to be everybody. Um, I just have healthy boundaries, and yes. my job is to protect my kids. Yes, and I think um, you can have boundaries also just for privacy reasons, like yeah, um, something I think. I think I learned this from you. You always said to like, like you used to use it for the job, but I like to use it for kids too. Is was it um, praise in public, correct in private kind yeah. of stuff? Like for me, that's like a boundary. Like I don't want to embarrass my kid, and you know, videotape him having the worst meltdown or something, and then you know, and post it on yeah. social media and say, look at this crazy fool or something you know yeah, because you can't take that back no you can delete it but somebody's got to yeah, store it on somebody's yeah, cloud or but everyone has their like. moments and stuff and i just you know um i mean i think i'm i i always want to be like real and authentic about things but um just knowing like you know that's where my my personal you know information starts and ends you know as you know i can help with parenting but um I'm not, I don't want to, you know, do that. So yeah. I've also, yeah. you know, found we, that. We've set some boundaries even for doing these videos. We have some boundaries. There's some things that, um, well, I'll say one boundary is like, we won't discuss something 
uh, and post it unless we both agreed to talk about it. So if we're not okay with talking about a topic, so I just throw out an example: sex. If we're not ready to talk about sex, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna get sitting video about, sex, about us talking about sex and then posting <laughs> out there. It's no. something that we have to both be ready to talk about. Um, if there's something in the video that um, we don't want, um, you know, that maybe we misspoke. Um, or uh, we want to make a correction or something like that and we didn't like how it came out, one of the, the, the boundaries that we have or agreements that we have uh, when we make the videos is we discuss that and I, when, I'm, do, yeah, when I'm doing the editing, <laughs> I, I take it out. That's one of the reasons why we don't always do live videos. I like to do the pre-recorded because we have to wait till we can get a quiet moment to do these videos. And so sometimes... <laughs> this is why it's in our room right now. Yeah. We're so And so sometimes that means that, you know, we're... Um, you know, we make mistakes for human, you know, and sometimes I'll do a little blooper reel just to have fun with it. You know, the mistakes that we made and put them all together so we can all laugh at them. But um, it's one of those things that, that, you know, we both talked about and, and my wife has asked me, you know, hey, um, we're recording, I, you know, if you can let me see the video before you upload it or, you know, if we record, you know, there's certain <laughs> techniques and stuff and how I record. She wants to make sure that I'm following those so that way, you know, she feels comfortable to continue doing this with me. And I'm not yeah. going to lie. I don't want to do this without you. So I'm, I'm glad that you do it with me. Not that you want to do this, but yeah. like, I don't, it's not like, don't zoom on my chest or something. <laughs> like, let's not do that. Yeah. Let's edit that out. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. So, overall, we're talking about boundaries. We need boundaries and in mar marriage, too. Just yeah, absolutely. Personal boundaries. Mm -hmm. Spiritual boundary. I will not be doing any oh, hocus pocus Ouija boards. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I am not. No. I'm not about no, that. No, no, no. Yeah. So. <laughs> we, we, we were fortunate. We both had that boundary. Like, nope, we ain't messing with that. I try to be respectful of another person's beliefs. It doesn't mean I have to believe them. My boundary is I can listen, ask questions. You can ask questions, but it, sometimes if, you, if I feel, you know, trying to tear you down, like, I don't have to talk to you about, like. Yeah. I don't have to have this conversation. If they're out for an argument. I mean, like, I do the what? same thing also, which I don't know that's really spirit spiritually, but I do the same thing when it comes to like um, this politics or anything that you might, any hard subject you might believe, like there's a boundary of like, I'm not going to like, I'm not willing to talk about this now or with, with a particular person. Cause I just like yeah. not going out, not going that way. I have people that I will talk to about politics and religion. I don't have a problem talking about my faith or anything like that. Um, but like she said, I, I agree that there is a but boundary there. But some people there. start cursing out and say, I'm not, we're yeah. not doing and that. And that's what I'm going to say. Like, that's there, my boundary. There is a, You're there not is a boundary there. Yeah, you, <laughs> if you want to get violent, um, I, I'm going to so. be honest, the, the boundary is going to change. It's going to go from, hey, you know what? I'm not going to take the disrespect. Um, I'm not going to let you just talk to me any kind of way because to me that's, that's disrespectful. Yeah. Um, so, boom, here's my boundary. Now you continue to uh, violate my boundary. You're going to get one or two reactions. Either A, I'm going to say it's not worth it. I'm going to walk away. Or B, you're going to catch two piece. <laughs> just saying. These hands are going to catch you. <laughs> <I was> just, <laughs> We've been talking about boundaries and why we have them. How, you know, how we can make sure that when our boundaries are being violated, we can reinforce our boundaries. Some of the things that we can do to keep ourselves safe and protect ourselves um, is the reason why we actually have these boundaries and then some of the ways that you can actually do those things physically um, Which you know, we talked about like recording and reporting if it's a workplace or school type environment when it's your personal relationship um, Or yeah. family something like that there, Excuse me. You can still record and report, you know, you're, who would you report it to? Well, if it's at home likely it's going to be the police if it's a uh, abuse or um, Sexual assault sexual harassment those type of issues. That's how you would handle those things um, there are other things you can do if you choose not to go that route. Um, it's not an all or nothing. Um, you can actually choose to seek out a counselor. Um, counselors mm -hmm. uh, of all types, um, LPCs, you know, licensed, uh, what's it called? A licensed um, professional counselor. Professional counselor. Um, you can see it out psychologists, psychiatrists, um, psychiatrists that you medication, but you can seek out counselors Marriage to. Family therapist. Yeah. Uh, social work counselor. There you go. Social workers. So uh, you can seek someone out to help you work through these issues. And now they have, I, I've never used it, but I know some friends that have used it like Talkspace. It's like an online. Oh, yeah. Thing. Yes. They do have the online so where you have, can video yeah. teleconference mm -hmm. or you can do a, a teleconference over the phone with yeah. a counselor now. They're trying to find more ways where they can reach people yeah. or people can get uh, help that need it. And there's hotlines also. That's yes. another thing. Hotlines can help. Um, Self-care. Self-care self -care can help. I think that that's a big thing for almost 
you know, for a lot of different things we deal with in life, stress, whatever we want, whatever we're going through. But, um, you know, because it can be draining to, to set up a boundary and then to constantly have the same person or different people violating that boundary. So you're like, you're, 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 at yeah. some point, you're exhausted. You know what? I, I don't feel like I should have to keep explaining myself because I set the boundary. They keep violating it. So then you've got to figure out I mean, how you're going to navigate that relationship. You part, can, you have to part ways. Yeah. You just have to. Sometimes that, that is, I mean, yeah. that's the boundary sometimes or that's what it comes to sometimes because maybe your other steps didn't work or maybe it was just too big of an infraction to um to keep that and i mean you can still forgive you can still even forgive someone but just have the boundaries that you know what it's not a healthy it's a toxic relationship my yeah. boundary is going to be i'm not going to be in, in that relationship. relationship yeah not going to be in that relationship so. anymore um yeah. i can forgive the person and not be in a relationship with them. That's correct. Yeah, because I gotta so, keep myself safe. Or, and that's you know. healthy. And I think sometimes, I know, like for me, um, I always just felt like as a Christian that I had to always say yes, you know. Yeah, gotcha. sure. Like, be, be forgiving, but also I have to, like, reconciliation. On And although now I do feel like, you know, usually that would be what I would want that it's not always the case healthy for you or even maybe the other person it's just toxic we say that the books boundaries by um dr henry cloud and dr john townsend is a good one they have different series on marriage kids and just boundaries i think with regular people i'm sure there's other books but those ones i like them i thought they're good um any other uh, no not that i can think of we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up for our first series on boundaries. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, look forward to seeing you guys again. Season four, Thriving Thursday. Music, take us out.